Yo, this your boy Young Chop on the B. You already know I'm rocking with DebtWave.com, man. DebtWave. DebtWave.com, industry do's and zones. We heard a CV mix. We got a couple questions of some do's and zones. Do's CV, and don'ts. what should be expected when reaching out to you? Um, I'm probably not going to ever answer the phone or the DM or nothing like that. Like, So DM is not the right way. DM, phone, like you just can't. I'm just unattainable at this point. Top five worst DMs. Uh, the most, the, the five recent DMs I have. <laughs> no, people always like, uh, <sighs> let, let's see, let's see. All right. So I got like 50 requests. Yo, Chris, let's work, man. I'm what? Like such a, a construction dickhead. project or something? Such. Like, are we remodeling? What are we working on? Are He's we... such a fucking dickhead, y'all. How much for beats, bro? <laughs> if you got to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> hey, can I please run some beats by your email? Like, I don't know. People just be, like, talking a bunch of, like, it's all, every time I get someone in the studio, like, by the time I get you in the studio, it was already, like, five hours of my life wasted talking back and forth about shit that really doesn't matter. Like, I offer, like, a very limited set of services, recording, mixing, mastering, and production. What do you want? Like, there's, it's simple. Let him know, Chris. So, so, so describe the perfect client then. The perfect client is someone who knows what they're getting themselves into and knows what to expect, and it's just clean cut in and out. Like, Come ready. I'm sorry? Come ready. Yeah, just like, yo, I want to book a day of studio time. Uh, where should I send the deposit? Uh, all right, we do Chase Quick Pay or PayPal. Let's get it. Uh, any day you want, I'm available. So they send the, send the deposit and get in the studio, and they know what they're getting themselves into. So that's that's really what I prefer. All right, last question, man. Serious question. Ask get any other dudes or don'ts you can give to somebody that would actually help them, you know, and we're reaching out to somebody who's, you know, a little bit above their level. Man, I work with a lot of people. I'd be around a lot of people. Like, if you're just trying to record over YouTube beats and shit like that, I got two recording studios. I got, like, five engineers that work for me. It's not going to make or break your song whether you're working with me or you're working with one of my engineers. Like, if anyone's working in my studio, they are A1, they know what the fuck they're doing. And people just don't put that kind of trust into my people. And when you don't trust the people that I put trust into, then I lost a lot of respect for you. Because you're basically telling me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You want to book three hours of studio time with me to record over YouTube beats, but Louis B dragged me out to Beverly Hills to do a whole week of studio time. So, like, where's, like, what am I going to stay in Chicago and record your fucking YouTube beats? I'm like, go with Louis B and, and check a couple bands. It's just, it don't make no sense. So that's why I got people back in Chicago right now working in the studio. There's people in my DM trying to get in the studio with me. You can get in my studio with my engineers. Next best thing. <laughs> CB Mix, we appreciate you, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. <laughs>